Building a smart home and adding new devices can get expensive, but thankfully there's many affordable devices on the market that work with Apple Home that are all under $50. Some even support Matter. So today we'll be looking at over 25 smart home devices that you can add to your Apple smart home from all different categories. And a huge thank you to Fing for sponsoring today's video. The first category is smart plugs. Smart plugs are an affordable way to make almost anything smart, like a lamp, lights, a fan, and more. For indoor, I like this Wi-Fi smart plug by Maris. I've been using them for years now and it's worked well for me. They make a version that supports matter over Wi-Fi, but I found them not to work as well and they take up multiple outlets. I've recently been impressed with the TP-Link Topo smart plug that is compact, supports matter over Wi-Fi, and is very affordable. It's actually the most affordable smart plug on the market to support matter. For energy monitoring, TP-Link makes a smart plug with and without Matter over Wi-Fi support. The Eve Energy also supports energy monitoring and Matter over Thread. For outdoor smart plugs under 50 bucks, Maris has different options, including one that supports dimming, and TP-Link makes a solid one too with dual outlets. The next category is sensors, and the first type of sensors is door and window sensors. These are great for having lights turn on when a door is opened, or on a window to control the AC whenever it's opened or closed, or even using them outside on a back gate. More on this in a minute. Acara makes one of the best and most affordable contact sensors on the market. They're compact, have a two year battery life, and can send you an alert if a door or window has been left open for a certain period of time. It works over Zigbee, so it does require an Acara hub, which does drive up the cost a little bit if you don't already have one of Acara's hubs. There are door and window sensors that don't require a separate hub and support matter over thread, including the new model by Acara, 1x20, and 1x Eve. They do require a thread border router, which if you're using them in Apple Home, is either a supported Apple TV, HomePod, or HomePod Mini. Each of these contact sensors can also be used outside with a weatherproof enclosure. And this leads us to bonus accessory number one of seven in this video. I like this 3D printed enclosure from Printspire Designs. They're not sponsoring this video. It comes in different colors and is available for all major brands. I've been using two Acara contact sensors outside for months now and they work great in the rain, the heat and cold temperatures and battery life is surprisingly still great. I'll leave links in the description for this accessory and the six other bonus accessories that we'll be looking at in this video. Now these bonus accessories are not really a smart home device, but they are a great addition to any smart home. Next is motion sensors, and these can be used to turn on or off lights when you enter or leave a room, and more. Most of them are battery powered, allowing for a wide variety of placement options and use cases. An underdog option is one by Onvest that has a temperature and humidity sensor built in and works over thread. Acara makes a motion sensor that has a five year battery life and connects over Zigbee, so an Acara hub is required. This one by Third Reality supports matter over Wi-Fi and is unique because it has a built-in light on top as well as a motion sensor, though it can only be plugged into an outlet and does not use batteries. The Eve Motion is water resistant, so it can work indoors and outdoors, opening up the door to even more use cases, like automatically turning on lights on a porch when you arrive home at night, and the Eve Motion supports matter over thread. Leak sensors are great for being alerted of a water leak under a sink, in a bathroom, or washer, and for under 50 bucks, there's really only two options. There's one by Maris that is rather large, potentially limiting where you can place it at but it does have a built-in alarm, works over Wi-Fi, and does require a Maros hub. The other one is by Acara that is smaller, works over Zigbee using an Acara hub, and is the one I personally use because it's affordable and works together with my other Acara devices. Cameras are great for keeping an eye on a front porch, pets, or using as a baby monitor, and there's many options available for under 50 bucks. For indoor, the ones by Eufy, both fixed and pan and tilt, are the most affordable option that supports HomeKit secure video, 24-7 local recording, and has great video quality. Cameras by Topo, both the fixed and pan and tilt version, has a physical privacy button for covering the lens, supports HomeKit secure video, 24-7 recording, as well as various sound detections. They're around the $50 price mark, but they often go on sale. Acara makes some great cameras too, but they are a little bit over the $50 price range. Currently, all outdoor cameras are over 50 bucks, 
but Akara is soon releasing an outdoor camera. No word on pricing yet. Now, I personally use the cameras by Eufy for watching my dogs when I'm away from home, and I use one in my daughter's bedroom that doubles as a baby monitor during the night. When it comes to native Apple Home smart locks, there's no indoor or outdoor option that's under $50. The closest one is the Secura HK1 by Holomark that works over thread. They also make these cool little tags called Holo tags that come in black and white, which is bonus accessory two of seven in this video. They work with Apple's Find My and you can attach them to things like headphones, keys, luggage, and more. You can receive an alert if an item is left behind and use Apple Maps to navigate to it. It does not support precision finding that you would get with Apple's official AirTags, but it is a good budget alternative to Apple's AirTags. If you have a garage, the Maersk garage door opener is great for automatically having your garage door open whenever you get home. You can see if it's open or closed from the Apple Home app, receive an alert if it's left open, and ask Siri to open or close your garage, or even use CarPlay to control it. It works over Wi-Fi, no hub is needed, and they even make one that supports up to three garage doors. Speaking of Wi-Fi, bonus accessory number three of seven in this video is a free app called Fing, who is sponsoring today's video. Fing gives you the ability to do a full network scan of either a home or business network to see all of the devices that are currently connected to your network via ethernet or via wireless. With this information, you're able to see what's connected to your network, control internet access for each device, along with various tools you can use to improve the strength and security of your network. Now, one great tool we can use is called vulnerability checks to see if you have any open ports on your router, a common way for hackers to get inside your network. You can run these checks manually or schedule them to run automatically in the background every day or every few days and receive a report about the security of your network. These security checks are available on the Think app for all mobile devices, including iOS and Android, as well as a feature-rich desktop app for Windows and Mac with more features than you'd find on the mobile app for an all-time monitoring solution. Fing is a great tool to have in your smart home toolkit for protecting your smart home and keeping your devices secure. And they offer three different plans to manage your network. By using my link down in the description below, you'll get a 25% discount for six months off their monthly premium plan. And a huge thank you to Fing for sponsoring today's video. Now let's look at our next category of smart home devices that are under 50 bucks, smart lighting, starting with smart bulbs. Smart bulbs are fun to use and can really add a pop of color to any room as ambient lighting. For smart bulbs, there's many options available that's under $50, including this Wi-Fi one by LifeX. I like it because it's actually smaller than other bulbs, allowing it to fit into tighter spaces where a regular size bulb would not fit. For matter supported smart bulbs, there's actually many on the market. The most affordable option is one by Topo. It supports power loss recovery, has great colors, and is one of the brightest on the market that works over Wi-Fi. Nanoleaf is another popular choice as well with extra bright whites, has lots of fun lighting effects, especially if you have other Nanoleaf lights or use a desktop computer and works over thread. Wiz is another good option that has a space sense feature that can automatically turn on supported Wiz bulbs whenever you walk into a room. And they support various sizes of bulbs if you have different size light fixtures in your home. I'm personally a huge fan of Philips Hue lights since they work well, but they are very pricey, often costing about $50 for a color bulb and does require a Philips Hue bridge to work with Apple Home. But I must say they are rock solid. If you do use Philips Hue bulbs, then Lutron makes the perfect accessory for Hue lights. They are Aurora dimmer switch, which is bonus accessory four of seven in this video. The switch goes right over your existing light switch and no wiring is required and locks the light in an always on position so you don't have to worry about somebody accidentally turning off their lights and going offline. This little button makes it incredibly easy for anybody to control your smart lights, especially guests who come over and just want to turn on the lights or if you just want to turn on lights without using your phone or without asking Siri. Just press the button to turn the lights on, press them again to turn them off and rotate the knob to control the brightness of either one bulb or multiple bulbs in the same room or zone in the Hue app. If the Wi-Fi goes down, the switch maintains connection with the Philips Hue smart bulbs so you can still control your lights. The Lutron Aurora is thin enough to work in a multi-switch setup. It works only with Philips Hue smart bulbs and other Zigbee certified smart bulbs using the Hue smart bridge 
and does not work in Apple Home to control other non-Philips Hue lights or devices. Speaking of lights, smart switches are a great way to make a light smart without having to replace the entire light fixture. I would say go with Luchon if at all possible since they are the king of smart switches, but they are a bit pricey and do require a Luchon hub to work with Apple Home. Thankfully, there are some more affordable smart switches that do not require a hub and some even support matter. Maris makes a wide range of switch styles, such as a single pole, a dimmer, a fan-like combo, and a three-way switch. But a neutral wire is required for all of them and they work over Wi-Fi and does not support matter. TP-Link makes a single pole that requires a neutral wire as well as their Topo line that also supports dimming and requires a neutral wire. Now, if you don't have a neutral wire, Akara makes a smart switch with a single or double rocker that has energy monitoring. It works over Zigbee, so it requires an Akara hub. I use a few of these Akara switches in my smart home and they were great and are an affordable alternative to Lutron. Though they don't support dimming like some Lutron switches do, if that's a feature that you may want or may need. Next up is light strips. And these are great for ambient lighting in a room and could also be used as a status indicator in automations. A super bright light strip is one by Topo that is addressable, so multiple colors can be painted on the light strip at once. Though these effects cannot be saved to Apple Home. Onvis makes an addressable light strip called the K1 Chameleon that is also addressable, but these effects can be synced to Apple Home as a scene. It connects over Wi Fi and does not require a hub. For a matter light strip under $50, Nanoleaf makes one that supports thread that has lots of lighting effects and good colors, but it is not addressable, so the light strip can only be one color at a time. Another good option for a matter light strip is the Akara T1. It's addressable and colors are nice and bright and your designs can also be synced to the home app as a scene. Now what makes Akara unique is that it's a Zigbee repeater, so it can help extend the Zigbee range to other Akara devices nearby. However, an Akara hub is required. I use the Akara light strip above my bed frame as ambient lighting to help my wife and I fall asleep at night. The next category that we'll be looking at is a fun one, and that is controllers. These are unique devices that allow you to control your smart home in other ways than just using your phone, a HomePod, or even your Apple Watch. We'll first start out with buttons that are under $50. The Onvis HS2 is a good option that has five buttons, and each button can be programmed for three types of presses, a single press, a double press, and a press and hold. So 15 total actions can be created with this single button. This means that you can use one button to control a lot of devices or run different scenes. The button also glows in the dark, making it easy to control devices in the dark, like in the middle of the night. It supports Apple Home over Thread and does not support Matter. For a simpler design with only one button instead of five, the 2O Smart Button is great and supports Matter over Thread. It includes a magnetic backing so you could attach this to a fridge and labels like the Onvis button does for a visual representation of what the button controls. A classic option is the Akara wireless mini switch. It's small enough to put on a nightstand to quickly run a good night scene without having to use your phone or your voice. Or you could put it near a front door to quickly turn off everything whenever you leave. Or you could also put it in a living room to quickly run a movie time scene to set the mood. It's personally one of my favorite Apple Home devices. It works over Zigbee so it does require an Akara hub. The mini switch is rated for indoor use only, but it can be used outside by using bonus accessory number five of seven in this video, which is a waterproof enclosure by again, Prince Buyer Designs, and this allows you to use the mini switch to control your indoor and your outdoor devices, like outdoor lights, sprinkler system, use the button as a doorbell, and more. Not only does this button keep the enclosure protected from outdoor elements, but you also get full functionality with the button and all three types of button presses will work while keeping water out. Another unique device for controlling your smart home is the Akara T1 Cube. It has seven customizable gestures that are supported in the Akara app, though only rotating to a specific side is supported in the Apple Home app. Now you could use the cube for basic tasks like running scenes or controlling an individual device like a light or playing music on a HomePod. But you could also use it in more advanced automations like having Siri announce a custom message on a HomePod if a door is left open. It works over Zigbee, so again, an Akara hub is required. While on the topic of controlling devices, 
Another thing that you can use is called NFC tags, which is bonus accessory number six of seven in this video. They can be used to not only control your smart home, like enabling privacy mode on a camera, but they could also be used to control settings on your phone or run Siri shortcuts, like turning on an Apple TV and automatically opening up an app. NFC tags are very affordable and come in small packs. For monitoring air quality, Maris makes an affordable humidifier that comes in different colors with a humidifier and light exposed to Apple Home, as well as Vocalink that has a larger water tank. Akara also makes a temperature and humidity sensor and a TVOC sensor that measures air quality in a room as well as the temperature and the humidity. And this can be used in automations to automatically turn on a fan in a room if the room is getting too hot. Both Akara devices work over Zigbee and of course require an Akara hub. The last category of devices is outdoor speakers. And there's no outdoor speakers that work with Apple Home that are under $50. Apple's HomePod Mini is $100. But if you already have a HomePod, then you can use bonus accessory number seven, the last accessory in this video, the Mission Battery Base, to make your HomePod Mini completely portable. This allows you to be able to stream music from your phone to your HomePod Mini, even without an internet connection. You can use the Mission Battery Base in places like in a bathroom to listen to music while showering, outside while reading a book, or maybe at a friend's house for a party. There's actually more accessories available for the HomePod Mini that most people don't realize actually exist and can actually make the HomePod Mini more useful. And this video right here talks about those accessories. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.